In this video, one of two different types of extruders will be assembled. This video will demonstrate the assembly of the extruder for the standard DC gear motor. The other version of the extruder features a stepping motor as opposed to the DC gear motor. For the hinge portion of this assembly, a 5 16 inch bolt or screw measuring 1 inch in length, one bearing with a 5 16 inch or 8 mm inside diameter, and one 5 16 inch nut will be needed. Assemble these components to the hinge as shown. On the mount side of the assembly, the motor will be mounted along the four holes that appear in a curved arrangement. The motor shaft in this case is off-center. The pulley should be lightly tightened so fine adjustments can be made when the motor is mounted and the hinge is fastened to align properly with the bearing. M3 screws at 20 millimeters in length are used to mount the motor. Washers may be used since the counterbores may vary in depth. A quarter inch screw at one and a half inches in length will serve as the hinge's rotating point. Two nuts at the other end will allow for hinge movement and maintain the nut's position. First, it is necessary to understand the difference between the two types of extruders. The DC gear motor version of the extruder is, for the most part, a constant speed mechanism that is geared to turn two revolutions per minute. The gearing allows for a great amount of torque to be produced which creates a very strong mechanism to allow plastic filament, PLA or polylactic acid, or ABS, acrylonitrile butadiene styrene. Both being thermoplastics, the PLA is the easiest one to use and is least toxic and is not derived from crude oil. The benefits of the stepping motor version of the extruder is generally the variable speed aspect of the system when interfaced with the Arduino controller. The two extruders share the same type of function. The motor mount is hinged to the mount made for an idler. The arm of the hinge that contains the idler is used to apply pressure to the filament so the teeth of the pulley can be used to push the filament into the nozzle of the extruder. The assembly for the extruder shown here is demonstrated in a later video in this video series.